So I've been wanting to make a video on the GTI Maxi dot cluster for a really long time, and it's been one of the most sought-after retrofits on the PQ25 platform. Through this video, I'm going to give you a feel of what it's like to have this cluster in your car, and I'll walk you through a few of the menus and features that you will be able to unlock with a cluster like this. And I'll also try and touch upon a bit on the installation aspect. So guys, this is the stock instrument cluster on the last of the Polo 6Rs and it is capable of displaying quite a few metrics. But overall, it still felt quite outdated to me when I got my car. It has red needles which can be coded and adapted to sweep like a sexy sports car. But even this attribute doesn't really help it stand out much. The first gen Polo sold in India came with a red backlit display, while the last of the Polos sold in India switched to white backlighting with a small digital screen capable of displaying the digital vehicle speed, fuel economy, time, fuel level, distance to empty, refuel quantity, etc. And we can cycle through all of this displayed information through the steering wheel buttons on higher variants or through switches on the wiper stock on lower trims. Despite all of this practicality and information on tap, even this refreshed cluster still felt quite badly dated for a car sold in 2020, let alone 2021 and even 2022. I know I almost forgot. It also features this annoying speed chime at 80 and 120 km per hour, which is quite simple to code out by the way. So for the typical driver going from point A to point B, the stock cluster, well, it should be just fine. But if you're tech savvy like me, then you definitely want to have a look at the Maxi Dot cluster. If you haven't seen the stock cluster in your hands, here is what it looks like front and back before we swap it out for a much more modern piece of tech. Next, let's have a look at the Maxidot cluster which houses a total of 4 analog dials for the RPM, the engine coolant temperature, fuel level and naturally the speedometer. There's a larger display in the center and it's definitely not super high resolution but it can display a lot more information. You can view and customize Everything that you see on this cluster, like the digital speedometer, trip details, average and instantaneous fuel economy, refuel quantity and so on. On the 1 litre TSI engines, you can also see the oil temperature in this cluster. You can access vehicle menus to tweak settings like the time, temperature, units etc. You can even view when your service is due and even graphically see which door is open on this multifunction display. Some additional features include visual warnings for the brake pad wear sensor, washer fluid level, etc. And this cluster is also capable of reading out any major faults or concerns in the car. You can cycle through all of the menus and information on this cluster using the steering wheel buttons. There is also an inbuilt light sensor for automatic backlit regulation. And if you have a compatible BCM or if you have retrofitted a dimmer switch, then the instrument cluster brightness can also be controlled with a dimmer switch in case the backlight on this cluster feels a little too strong and well on some nights it can feel a little too bright. The Maxi Dot cluster well, it really changes the way your car cabin looks be it in the day or at night. It really gives the Polo a classy, sporty, timeless look and adds plenty of usable features. If you have a compatible radio, you can also view navigation and control the audio tracks and the music station currently playing and also make, accept and decline calls right from the instrument cluster. What's also special is the depiction of direct tire pressure monitoring if you have that installed in your car. I'll leave a few links to my thread in the description so you can see what all additional features the cluster can support. Coming to the installation part, the cluster upgrade to a Maxidor cluster is fairly plug and play, especially if it is a brand new part. All you have to do is take the stock cluster out, put the new cluster back in, no physical modification or wiring changes are necessary to the plug, but well it's not all that simple either. The new cluster requires some coding and online adaptation before it can work with your car. To put that in simpler terms, the car's immobilizer needs to be told about this cluster change without which your car won't start when you install a new cluster. And for this very reason, you are better off getting this upgrade done by an experienced professional who has all the right tools that you need for this process so that you don't get stuck anywhere. So that's pretty much it about this small video on the Maxi Dot Cluster. I'll see you guys in the next one.